So I've obtained a new thrust washer in there and I've decided to use a instead of a snap ring a grade 8 7 8 washer uh, what I did was I put the shaft in the lathe and I used a zip cut blade to square off the groove and make it slightly deeper and then I cut that washer in half and I'm going to MIG weld the two halves together and that should prevent it from coming through um, I did that on another truck and it seemed to it seemed to work pretty good yes if you have to take this axle out you'll have to cut that spot weld on both sides to get the axle out but the axle is damaged already I've also got the sliding collar I got a used one today the new one was 300 bucks the used one was 25 and it's uh, it's in good condition so we're gonna get this welded up so there's the washer MIG welded. There's more than enough room for these spot welds. I beat it out a little bit so that it would hold. And I think that hard wash, I'm going to pack this full of grease. Just the same. Put the spline back, sliding sleeve back on, and reinstall it in the truck. So on the right we have the original gear. You can see the teeth are chewed, but mainly I'm worried about this uh, teeth damaged here because the axle shaft had migrated out far enough. This one here is a used one. It's in pristine shape. A little dirty in here. I'm just going to clean that out. Some memory cloth. But that should be good to go. So this CV axle boot is a still original one because it's a hard plastic boot. And as you can see, it's compromised. So we're going to change this CV shaft. I've undone the stabilizer links so that I can pull the CV or stabilizer bar down and hopefully we can get this out from the inside, especially with the, I know we can get this one out because I've done this before. This boot here is cracking as well. As you can see it's ready to fail. So I'm going to compare the length of this axle shaft on the right, which I know has been replaced. That's an aftermarket nut on there with the OE shaft on the left the same part number and that's an OE nut on there so I'm pretty sure this is the original shaft on the left side so this is a uh, world parts part number 179228C for uh, the better grade boots the cold climate and you can see this shaft on the right is shorter I'm compressing this one down as much as I can and it's at least an eighth of an inch shorter. So somebody's changed this CV shaft. This one's definitely been replaced. We're going to compare it to the other one on the other side. And you can get the shaft out of here through this opening here without pulling the hub and bearing assembly. Now I don't know about this side. Let's see, it's tilted down now. I should try it right now. Well, we'll put this one in, get it out of the way. So there it is back together again. These flange bolts here are 58 foot-pounds. The bolts that hold the housing, the five bolts there are 41 foot-pounds and the axle shaft nut out here is 177 foot-pounds. Make sure you check the diff fluid. I ended up pulling the differential assembly out because all I had to do was undo the u-joint here and basically the case came out and then I was able to take the axle shaft out this way instead of disconnecting ball joints I did remove the stabilizer links and pull the steering stabilizer bar down towards the control arm to get enough room to get the joint out of there we'll take it for a road test and see if the 4x4 works so I got both axle shafts clamped in a vise the one on the right or sorry this side here left was the one that was in the right side of the vehicle the one that had the problem this is the original axle shaft on the other side and I'm compressing them as much as I can and there's at least a half an inch difference now mind you this one does come out quite a ways but I think this is the wrong axle in here and that's what's been causing the stress on that clip but I can't prove it because there's no numbers on it. I know it's been changed because this has got a soft rubber boot and the factory 
joints have hard plastic boots. This is a factory one still, and it's actually got uh, swedge clamps on the outside joint here. There's no uh, crimp on it. It's swedged. So I think this is going to be okay now. What I did with that axle shaft was either that or replace the axle shaft. So if it becomes a problem in the future, then we'll deal with it in the future. But I think it'll be just fine. Thanks for watching.